Hi, I am Robert Cicilliano. I am a security awareness expert and the head trainer at protectnowllc.com. Welcome to this week's Protect Now Security Snapshot. Each week, we break down recent events in the world of scams, fraud, and identity theft. I will provide you with real life examples of how certain information vulnerabilities can be exploited by online predators, by the bad guys, and share the best up-to-date tips and practices on how to protect your business, your loved ones from hacks, fraud, and identity theft. Let's get at it. And welcome to this week's Protect Now Security Snapshot. So, wire fraud, how criminals prey on real estate and other industries, such as construction, manufacturing, the art industry. It's a real mess. And it's a real mess for all of these various industries, especially real estate, because people like you and I are engaged in these large transactions. Uh, and we're not quite familiar with those transactions because we might buy a house maybe once every 10 years, if three or four times in a lifetime, which is a lot, and we're not familiar with it. And so when it comes to the communications back and forth between your real estate agent or your title attorney or your lawyer or accounting and so forth, you may not be fully familiar with what you should and shouldn't do. And in that process, if a bad guy hacks your real estate agent or you or the loan company and they get in the middle of those communications, they could simply uh, send you wiring instructions that you are unfamiliar with or you think that you should fill out and you do, and that could be $100,000 and you lose. So in this week's security snapshot, we're gonna go over wire fraud, what to be aware of, what to look out for, what to do and what not to do. We're gonna talk about the Protect Now Identity Theft Protection really quick. Also, I was on Inside Edition back in the day talking about real estate agent security. Also, the Massachusetts uh, Association of Realtors uh, and uh, I and others, we provide certification training for agents. And we're going to talk really briefly about the CE program, CSI Protection, which is Cyber Social Identity and Personal Protection. Show you how to access that and how to get, how to get a copy of all these various links a download of a PDF to click on to learn more and to get a copy of my free ebook, which was a bestseller. And you got to like our Facebook page. I'll show you how to get to our Facebook page. All right, let's get at it. Okay, so this is a recent blog that I wrote, uh, Wire Fraud, How Criminals Prey Upon Real Estate Construction, Manufacturing, and Art Industries. It's a pretty long read, actually. It's over a thousand words. And it really gives you some insight as to what's going on out there and how we are being bamboozled to send millions and millions, hundreds of millions of dollars every single year to bad guys posing as your real estate agent or your real estate broker. Uh, it could be, uh, you know, sending a bill when you're sent an invoice, whether you're a construction company or a manufacturer, you know, even as a, a homeowner. I mean, anybody can be scammed via a wire fraud transaction. And I'm going to read a little bit to you in any industry where money is transferred uh, or large bills are paid. Uh, the door is open to wire fraud. I mean, there's no question about it. Barbara Corcoran of uh, Shark Tank fame, who's a real estate developer, recently lost almost $400,000 in a scam like this. Uh, in manufacturing, they pay large vendors for all materials and sometimes overseas. They send money overseas, right? That happens too. And construction developers pay contractors huge sums of money for labor and materials. You might be buying a home or an expensive piece of art. And either way, these transactions are typically not done in cash. And often they're done, you know, via wire or EFT, electronic fund transfer. You might not think that in a well-established industry like real estate, construction and manufacturing, that this would be a problem because there'd be all kinds of checks and balances. But the fact of the matter is that there isn't. So as we look into the home buying process, and many of us at some point in our, in our lives are going to buy a house. Um, this type of scam uh, is pretty frightening. The Internet Crime Complaint Center, which is part of the FBI, released a report that showed email fraud in the real estate industry rose more than 1,100% uh, from 2015 to 2017. The amount of money lost in real estate fraud rose approximately 2,200%. That is a big number. That's huge. That means bad guys have figured this out. What does this mean? It means the scammers are more efficient than ever before. And in 2020... 2020, that number jumped another 13%. Recently, a real estate transaction, a psychology professor at the UC Berkeley wired $921,000 to a scammer. 
So here's what you need to do to protect yourself. You know, you can read through the blog, which I suggest you do, but ultimately you need to make sure that number one, you set up uh, a different password for every account. You set up two-factor authentication for every critical account, especially email. And whenever you are in a situation where, uh, or a process where you have to wire money to pay a bill, to um, invest in a property, whatever it might be, to buy art, uh, that you need to definitely call on the phone the person in which you are sending that money to to make sure that that is a legitimate transaction. Like you have to go through and check all of your, uh, cross all of your T's and dot all of your I's and make sure that this is in fact a legitimate transaction, that there's a, a legitimate reason for it that you absolutely positively are sending the money to the right account that don't just wire money based on a phone call or an email received, whether it's a threatening communication or it's a legitimate communication uh, due to the fact that you are in fact buying art, paying a bill, buying a house and so forth, because this is a hundred plus million dollar a year scam. It's going to get worse before it's going to get any better because people like you and I are being scammed. We are being convinced that it is a legitimate communication and oftentimes it is not. So what I want you to do before you leave here today, check out our ID protection, ID credit and monitoring at protectnowllc.com forward slash ID dash protection. And you want to sign up for my next webinar, date to be determined, secure your spot by going to protectnow.online. And there you can also get a copy of my free ebook and to download a copy of this presentation. Then also check me out on Inside Edition. I did a realtor safety and security program back in the day. Uh, you'll see me back then. It's pretty cool. Also, for those of you who are Massachusetts real estate agents, check us out at Protect Now LLC and navigate to the courses and certifications via the CSI protection certification. Massachusetts agents, you can get eight CE credits for the CSI protection course and get certified. It's happening in uh, early March. So all that being said, you got to like our Facebook page, head over to Facebook, go to facebook.com forward slash protect dash now. Uh, and listen, thank you so much for all of your patronage for, uh, you know, continually helping us build this. You guys are awesome. Be safe out there. And Hey, wear your mask. You be cool. Talk to you later.